make sure your flour is well mixed because remember we have atamak and the white all-purpose flour make sure they're well mixed then you add your sugar for me I'll use about one and a half spoons of sugar add your salt I'll use one spoon of salt just to make it mix nicely with the sugar then I'll take half the margarine because again it's not a lot of flour and mix them well next step we are using our hot water remember it is hot boiling water not warm water then I mix because it's hot water you can't dare put your hands in it you will burn then it becomes a bit cold so you can start kneading My flour is now ready. As you can see, it looks smooth enough, soft enough. When you're mixing with your warm water, you should also note to get nice consistency. Don't make it too hard, don't make it too soft to stick on your hands. You see, it's not sticky, but at the same time, it's quite soft so we're just making it round before we can start rolling it okay now when it comes to rolling different people have different methods of rolling I prefer just to do it once shortcuts <laughs> so this is what I'll do and flatten it then I roll it just roll it and make sure it's completely flat because we want to fold we want to start and, and prepare it in a way that we get layers I put my oil not a lot just enough don't exaggerate when it comes to chapatis if you put a lot of oil your chapatis will be oily and they need to be a bit dry so that someone can have as many as you would love them to so i spread my oil then there are quite a number of methods of folding to get layers you can fold them like this you roll it round or my personal favorite you can fold as a book you see how I'm doing it you take your chapati push it ahead fold it backwards see this we are trying to create layers as many layers as you would like to have just fold it and fold it then next we cut this I'm using the shortcut method you can prepare one by one but if you're in a bit of a hurry this is the best way to go now see you see how many layers we have?
now we are rolling the chapati don't put a lot of flour beneath just put enough because if you put again a lot it will stick on the pan so you roll it nicely and by the way before I forget some people don't know how to roll round chapatis the secret is hold your pin try and put as much pressure on the edges and move it round while you're rolling it's moving you see my fly is roll is moving round see it's moving round and making it round at the same time you see you see how nicely it becomes you don't need to struggle to get a shape or to use a knife or something like that to cut your chapati into a round shape another another shortcut sometimes you're making a few chapatis like now you see I'm making about 12 and you let's say you do not have help so that means you have to prepare all the chapatis by yourself uh, another thing I do I just roll them and place them on top of one another like this and make sure when I want to start cooking my pan is completely hot so that they cannot delay me if there are not a lot of chapatis they will not dry but if there are a lot then you have to be careful on this process but if you're making a few just like I am at the moment all you need to do is just put them on top of the other so that at least you can roll all your chapatis so that the next step is just cooking next is cooking my favorite part you don't put oil on the pan you just put your chapati on dry pan let it cook for a while while you're monitoring it then you turn see my mother used to tell me as long as you see it's swelling on some parts you know those are the layers so we put our oil don't put a lot of oil just enough and when you're putting your oil do not put the spoon on top it will use a lot of oil make sure the spoon lies on the chapati you turn just a little don't put a lot of oil see our chapati is almost ready and voila we have our chapati ready next is removing don't put your chapati on the pan for long the longer it is kept on the pan the hard it gets so make sure it is a one minute affair and so our chapati are ready how you serve depends on your preference you can fold them into halves you can roll them depending on how best you would love them served you can cut it into two then you fold like that you can serve them with tea you can serve them with juice you can serve them with stew, vegetables, whichever you prefer, depending on the kind of meal you love. But they're very healthy and very nice because they're brown chapatis. Green Step here in Green's Kitchen. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like. The link is below the video. Make sure you like, you subscribe.
share as much as you can. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Till next time.